Hey guys, M here from Transformers and Video Games, and welcome back to the channel. I had an awesome weekend of garage sale hunting, I found lots of video games this week, and was even fortunate enough to find some very cool robot-related toys. So if you're a fan of either, you're not going to want to miss this pickups video. So grab yourself a frosty beverage, sit back, and enjoy the video. Okay guys, before we get into the pickups, I just wanted to mention that this is actually the most money I've ever spent on a morning of garage sailing. I spent just under $200 Canadian on everything I'm about to show you. And although maybe that sounds like a lot of money, I think I got some really great stuff. And this is probably one of my best garage sailing days ever. So without further delay, let's get into the pickups. All right guys, so at the first garage sale I stopped off at, I scored this PS2 Fat for $10. And with it came a bin full of wires. And I was certain that when I got home and went through the bin, I would find the AV cables and the power cord. Unfortunately, they weren't in the bin. There was just about any other wire I could possibly want in there, just not the ones I was looking for. Fortunately for me, I, I was picking those up pretty regularly thrifting. So I know I've got the AV cables. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I've probably got a power cord that would work for it. If I don't, it's a pretty generic one. It's pretty easy to find, again, thrifting for a dollar or two. Uh, what I did find in the bin, though, were two DualShock uh, 2 controllers, uh, which are great. So I'd say not a bad score for $10. Normally, um, I, although I don't need a PS2 fat uh, in my collection, I've already got a couple of them, and I know they're not terribly easy to flip, I don't like to go home empty-handed, so sometimes I'm pretty lenient with what I'll pull the trigger on for my first purchase. Uh, if I'd found this later on in the day, I quite honestly would have passed on it, I think. But anyways, that was my first purchase. We'll move on to the next one. Okay, so things started picking up a little bit at the next garage sale that I hit. I noticed they had a PS2 Slim and a PS3 Super Slim and a couple of stacks of games. I asked them how much they wanted for the systems. Um, one of the guys pulled out a cell phone and started looking. I don't know if he was looking on Kijiji or eBay. But he was telling me that they wanted, I think, $100 for the PS3. And I can't remember what they quoted for the PS2, but I knew we'd be way too far apart for me to be interested in either of them. So uh, I just asked about the games. They pretty much said uh, I could have uh, two for five dollars. Um, so here are the games that I grabbed. Uh, for the PS2, I got Need for Speed Underground. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Devil May Cry 3, Need for Speed Carbon, Need for Speed Most Wanted, and those are all the PS2 games. Uh, the next ones are all PS3. Splinter Cell Blacklist. Sniper Ghost Warrior. Call of Duty Ghost. Or Ghosts. Fear 3. Uh, Deus EX uh, Human Evolution. L.A. Noir is the greatest hits copy. And uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. So I thought uh, he didn't want to do any deals. I said, you know, with the stack uh, of games I got or that I've picked out, could you do any better than two for five bucks? Uh, he didn't want to, but I thought for $2.50 a game uh, and for those titles, I thought that's not too bad. I didn't have any of them. I think I might have already had San Andreas, but I thought my brother might be interested in that. But I don't believe I had any of the other games, so I thought for $2.50 each, uh, you know, and these are in immaculate condition, uh, box complete. I thought um, not a bad price at all. Okay, so at the next garage sale, a couple of game guides caught my attention. The first one was Final Fantasy 13, and the second one was Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. So I grabbed those right away. I knew I was interested in those for the right price. I didn't see any video games, so I just 
asked the guy if he had any games that he was interested in getting rid of as well. He told me he collected NES and SNES games, but that he didn't want to sell those at the moment. So I totally understand if he wants to hold on to them. But he said he had some uh, Game Boy Advance stuff that he'd be willing to bring out and let me have a look at. So uh, I basically bought what he had. Um, there was a Game Boy Advance SP. This isn't the backlit model, but I do like the uh, design of these little clamshell ones. Uh, it came with the charger. A couple of boxed games. These are box complete. Uh, UGO Destiny Board Traveler. And the box is in quite nice condition. Next one is UGO The Sacred Cards. Again, box complete. There was also some loose games. Uh, in keeping with the same theme, UGO Double Pack. Um, thought there was another one here. Uh, yeah, UGO Destiny Board Traveler. This is a second copy of it. I did look in the box and um, there was a copy of it in the correct box. So I guess he had a second copy for some reason. Uh, I also got Monster Trucks, Namco Museum, and the last one, Breath of Fire. So that was it for the Game Boy Advance stuff. He did have one single PS1 game. So I ended up getting Bust a Move 99, and this is box complete. Uh, I know the name of this game. I can't say I've played it before, but based on the back, it looks like just a standard bubble shooter that's been on just about every cell phone over the last 10 years. But uh, I don't have a, a particularly large PS1 collection, so I'm more than happy to add uh, Bust a Move to it. Okay, so at this point, it's about 11 a.m., it's getting a little bit deeper into the morning, and I start getting concerned that given all the competition in my area, that most of the good stuff that's available will be gone. But I ended up stumbling upon a little street sale that didn't have very good signage, parked my car, got out, and at the very first table that I stopped off at, um, they had Nintendo games. So I'll show you what they had here. Um, before I get into the titles, the guy said he wanted $5 a game. And just as I sort of looked through the titles, I guess he had a change of heart and he said uh, that he could actually do $3 a game. So, of course, for $3 a game, I took what he had. Um, the Goonies 2. Knight Rider. Narc. Friday the 13th. I actually have this one. And I saw Simon's Quest on the table. He said it wasn't for sale. Um, so I just asked him, you know, why is it out? And uh, he said, I guess it was out by accident. He told me the game doesn't work, so he wasn't selling it. And I told him I'd be more than happy to take it if he wanted to just throw it in, if it was broken. So he threw in the game. I ended up cleaning it with some contact cleaner. I still haven't managed to get it working, so now I just want to do a bit of a deeper cleaning. And uh, hopefully I, I can get this going, but again, I'm not out of pocket anything for it. And with this bundle, I actually got one other thing. Uh, I got one of the little Hyperkin uh, NES clones. So it came with the system, two controllers, uh, the AV cables are attached to it, and there's the power source there. So I got the entire bundle there with the games and the uh, NES clone console. Uh, what would it have been? Three, six, nine, twelve dollars. He gave the whole thing to me for twenty bucks. So I would say that's not uh, that's not bad at all. So now here's where things start getting really interesting for me as a Transformers collector. The same seller that had those Nintendo games, I walked over to another table he had. And I see this sitting on there. So I knew right away this is obviously a knockoff G1 Optimus Prime. Hopefully I've got that on my shot. Um, obviously I could tell right away by the box. Um, it's hard to get into. It probably won't show up on camera. But just the colors, the gloss of the box, things don't look right with it. And a dead giveaway, of course, is that Optimus uh, G1 Optimus Prime didn't have a black trailer. 
So I asked him what he wanted for the um, knockoff Optimus Prime, uh, which is complete. And he said he could do $10 for it. So uh, I didn't even haggle on that. I said, yep, for 10 bucks, I'll take the, op uh, the Optimus Prime. So I grabbed that. Okay, so the next thing that caught my eye from the same guy is this um, Toy Nami Voltron Defender of the Universe. It's like a 25th uh, anniversary masterpiece style uh, Voltron figure. So this caught my eye and uh, I asked him if it was complete. He told me it is 100% complete, nothing's broken. Um, I'll quickly show you, I'll just slide the lid off here and show you the inside of the box, which I think is far more impressive. Look at that. Just an amazing looking set. Anyways, um, I had a quick look at it. Everything looked to be in good shape. Nothing seemed damaged. I asked him what he wanted for it. Um, he said 50 bucks and I was like, uh, I don't know, I was interested for that money, but you never know with some of these figures. I know, I think it was this set, the connecting points for the arm lions uh, were pretty fragile. And I didn't really have time to start opening it up and checking everything over thoroughly. So while I was thinking it over, he said, you know, how about 40 bucks? And I thought, you know what? I said to him, if you could do 35, I'll, uh, I'll take it. So he agreed uh, with uh, he agreed to 35 bucks for the uh, Voltron, and he also told me that he had a couple of Super Mario games that weren't on the table um, earlier. So he pulled out Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, Super Mario Brothers 2, and Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, he went a little bit higher on these games. I know the other games that he was selling, uh, he went three dollars each. These ones he gave to me for $5 each. So, um, yeah, I grabbed this and the Voltron, you could say, for 50 bucks. Again, the Prime was $10, and the, uh, the uh, Hyperkin system and the original NES games uh, were $20. So I thought that was a fantastic deal for some really great stuff. I had actually been looking in the stores for the Classic 84 Voltron that they were selling. I know in the States, I think at Target and Walmart, it hasn't made its way to Canada, but now that I have this one, honestly, I'm not too bothered whether the other one comes to Canada at all now. I think this will be, uh, this will sort of um, scratch that itch I had for a, uh, a fun Voltron that I can put on display and probably handle a little bit without it getting damaged. So anyways, I thought that was just a fantastic haul for the money. Okay, so at the next garage sale, literally just a couple of doors down from that first guy where I bought the uh, Transformers and the Nintendo games, um, a guy had some Wii games. I had a look at the titles. It was nothing I was interested in. I think they were only two bucks each, but I just wasn't interested in those titles at all. I asked him if he had anything older. He told me he had a uh, an original Nintendo in the car. Uh, but that he could show it to me if I was interested. So I'm like, uh, yeah, sure, I'm totally interested in the Nintendo. I found it a little strange that he had it in the car of all places. Uh, I asked him on, on the way to the car, you know, why it wasn't out. And he said uh, he didn't think anybody would be interested in it. So he just stashed it in the car. Anyways, um, I got to say, uh, it came in the world's worst box. So I'm not going to show the box. That's actually in my garage right now. I don't know if it's moldy or what, uh, the box stunk, so I don't want to bring it into my house. But uh, it's got the styrofoam here, and this is fine, it doesn't smell, it doesn't seem to be in bad condition. Um, I don't know if there's, maybe the box took on water or something, I'm not sure what the, what the issue was with it. So here's the system right here. Uh, you can see that the Nintendo itself has some bad sun damage. There's a little bit of sun damage on the two controllers. The zapper seems fine. It comes with the power source. So um, I don't know, because of that, uh, because of the condition of that box, I wasn't sure if it had taken on water. I didn't want to take a big gamble on this particular Nintendo. So I was only mildly interested. I asked what he wanted for it. Uh, he asked for 25 bucks. I told him I could do 20 bucks, uh, again, because I wasn't sure. I like I pointed out the box and I just said, it looks like it's taken on water. So this Nintendo might be corroded inside or 
you know, not in working order. So anyways, he had no problem giving it to me for 20 bucks. Uh, after I bought this and we headed back to his garage sale, I said, um, do you have any uh, Nintendo games? And he said, yeah, I do. They're actually, um, they're actually on one of the tables at the garage sale. So I wanted to hurry back to get them before anybody else grabbed what he had. And fortunately we got there and everything was still there. Uh, well, for starters, he had the control deck instructions. Um, copy of Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. And the next games are all boxed complete. And the boxes are in really nice condition. 25th Anniversary Jeopardy. Wheel of Fortune Family Edition. Dr. Mario. Tetris. And the last one is, um, I think it's pronounced Mylon's Secret Castle. So this is very cool. Uh, I don't have very many boxed NES games, so I was very interested in what he had. Uh, I said, what are you asking for all of them? And he said, I was looking for $20. And I said, uh, yeah, no problem. Um, I didn't want to bother haggling with him over it. I mean, these aren't titles that I'm, you know, uh, certainly Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune are ones that I would have passed on uh, if, if they weren't cheap the way these were. But for 20 bucks, I thought I'm not even going to haggle with them. I'll just, uh, I'll just grab them all. So really happy with those Nintendo purchases. Now, again, still from the same street sale. I do have another very cool video game purchase, which I'm just going to, um, which I'm just going to get ready and uh, I'll show you next. Okay, so at the next house on the same street, uh, I walked up, noticed that they didn't have any video games, uh, so I thought I'd ask this time. You know, I said, "Do you have any Nintendo, Game Boy, Sega?" Just started naming everything off. The guy said, "We have a Wii, but our son still plays it, so we don't want to part with that." But he said, "We do have a Nintendo." that we were playing for a little bit, but uh, you know, nobody's touched it in a, in a little while, so you're, uh, you're welcome to take a look at it. And I said, sure. I mean, I thought, what are the chances of me getting uh, a Nintendo a couple of doors down and now grabbing another one at this house? Um, but I said, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll happily take a look. He sent his wife in, she came out, and it wasn't actually a uh, Nintendo console she had. It was, of all things, the Nintendo Classic. So um, I couldn't believe that somebody was actually selling one of these at a garage sale uh, this soon after the whole craze and shortage from the last year and a half. But um, I had a quick lo look over just at some of the um, things that I'd read online in the past to spot a, a fake box and everything looks pretty legit. When I got home, I did a more thorough uh, look. Everything looks fine to me. So I'm 99% sure that this is 100% uh, legit. Here's the system itself uh, with all the cords, so that's great. Uh, this little sensor here um, is actually for a wireless Nyko controller, so they threw that in. Uh, here's the box for the controller. It came with all the uh, proper paperwork as well. So. I think this is fantastic. I, I never would have thought that I would have found a uh, NES Classic this soon at a garage sale, but um, asked them what they wanted for it. And of course, they didn't have a price in mind. They asked me to make an offer. And I always get stuck with stuff like that. I don't want to go uh, too low and be insulting, but I don't want to start too high either. Um, so I just threw a number out there. I said, you know, I'd be willing to go 40 bucks on it. And um, yeah, they both... Um, said, yeah, no problem. It's yours for 40 bucks. So I rounded it up and that was that. Uh, again, super excited about all of those pickups, uh, all of the ones that I just mentioned there, uh, the NES games, the Transformers and the NES Classic were all from the same street sale. And again, it was later in the morning. So I'm just, I'm shocked that the stuff was still available for me to find when I did. Okay, so the next garage sale I went to, I asked about games because there were none outside. And uh, the guy said that uh, they did have some old um, DS and PS3 games in the house that they weren't playing. Uh, so he invited me in to take a look at what they had. I put aside a whole bunch of 3DS games, uh, a number of those Professor Layton games, 
and uh, I think there was even uh, Zelda, um, I can't remember, one of the 3DS Zelda games. Unfortunately, his wife said she was still playing all of the Layton games and Zelda, uh, but uh, the rest of the games that I picked out here, uh, he ended up giving me a good price on. There's Final Fantasy III for the Nintendo DS. Pokemon Moon for the 3DS. These are all box complete. Uh, Little Big Planet Game of the Year Edition for the PS3. I think I might have this though. I uh, wasn't sure though. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops for the PS3. And Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the PS3. So I asked him what he wanted for this stuff. Um, fortunately, I found somebody that was willing to name a price. He said he would take 15 bucks for everything. So I told him I didn't have a problem with that. I gave him the 15 bucks and moved along to the next garage sale. Okay, so at the next garage sale, I spot a nice little uh, Nintendo DSi bundle. So it comes in a little carrying case here. But here's the DSi with the stylus. And there's a couple or one extra uh, stylus here in the case. So I got the uh, DSi uh, Star Fox Command Spore Hero Arena. And this next title is really good. Uh, Kirby Superstar uh, Ultra. I got that. Um, th there's also a loose copy of Assassin's Creed. And it also came with the charger. Uh, they wanted 25 bucks for everything. I asked them if they'd accept 20 and uh, they had no problem with that. So I took the bundle for 20 bucks. Okay guys, now to move on to my final pickups of the day. Uh, pulled over at the last garage sale. I had a look around for games, didn't see anything. So I thought I'd ask. The woman said that I was about a summer um, too late. She said they used to have a tub of Sega Genesis games, and uh, she said she was pretty sure that they sold either last summer or the summer before that. So uh, that's a shame. It would have been nice to see some of those titles. Anyways, um, she said her daughter had a Nintendo Wii and that I was welcome to look at some of the titles that they weren't interested in anymore. So her daughter came out with a stack of games for the GameCube and the Wii, since of course the GameCube games are compatible with the uh, at least the early edition of the Wii. So I ended up grabbing a handful of titles here. I got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Player's Choice Edition of Shrek 2, for the Nintendo Wii, I got Wii Sports Resort. And of course, I couldn't pass up on a copy of Mario Kart for the Wii. And uh, I asked them what they wanted for the games. She said that they would take $15 for the ones that I picked out. I thought, yeah, I've got no problem with that. I didn't really want to negotiate. So I packed it in for the day, and that was it. Okay guys, well I'm going to leave it at that for today. Thank you very much for stopping by to check out my latest garage sale pickups video. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of my pickups this week. Uh, I thought I did very well for just under $200. Um, but let me know what you think. Were there any standout purchases in your opinion? Is there anything that I bought that you would have left behind? I don't know. I'm curious to know either way. Anyways, thanks again for watching everybody. Take care.